Thank you for joining me. There's a topic on a lot of people's minds, a topic I get asked about on a daily basis, and I just wasn't ready to talk about it. But it's time to finally tell the story. Thank you for joining me for a tribute to Lily. Her story began on a small Ohio farm. A runt chihuahua was born. Her family couldn't take care of her and put her up for adoption in a local newspaper. <gasps> From the moment I saw her, it was love at first sight. But I have to admit, there was some complications. Lily was born with her tongue three times too big for her mouth. The doctors wanted to operate immediately. They said it would be difficult for her to talk and pronounce her words properly. But I loved her just the way she was. From the very start, she was destined for greatness. After being awarded the world's second smallest dog at only two pounds, she began to pile up the trophies at local dog shows and be featured in many magazines. But Lily had her sights set higher. After being turned down for a few movie roles due to her short stature, she settled on reality TV. Lily made her TV debut in Beauty and the Geek 3, then followed up with a string of starring roles on VH1's I Love Money, Rock Love Charm School, and Megan wants a millionaire. With all the fame, Lily did become a little demanding. She began to only drink bottled water at a specific 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Lily, your water's ready. She wanted all of her outfits ironed and perfumed. I'm doing them as fast as I can. And dog food was not to be mentioned. Lily, I'm gonna make you breakfast. It'll be ready in just a minute. Wait, what kind of seasoning do you want? Just salt and pepper? Okay. And the fan mail was coming in like crazy. Lily, the mail's here. Lily, Lily, Lily. They're all for you. And the boys were after her. Hey, get out of there. She's not that kind of girl. At the height of her career, she was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame and given her own star on Hollywood Boulevard. But after years of hard work, she decided to retire in Florida, where she took up bingo. G49. O72. Scratch off lottery tickets. And of course, tanning. Then, one quiet rainy day, just short of her 10th birthday, Lily moved on. <sighs> per her request, she was buried at the Boca Raton Pet Cemetery. Lily, I will never forget you. You are my best friend and you will always hold a special place in my heart. Until we meet again. Thank you for joining me for a tribute to Lily.